Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Portal back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, and today I'm going to be going over the Saturday Legends. I'm going to be using the screenshots for this one specifically, uh, for a few reasons, but before we get into the video and we go through everything, this is the first break of the Zero Trip promo that we have had thus far, since they did cancel pretty much all weekly content during the Zero Trip promo, such as Wildcard Wednesday, Team of the Week Tuesday, and Thursday LTD, so they have kept us with daily content with Zero Chill, so it's not really that big of a deal. This is the first like normal C content that we are getting, so it is exciting to see. They are 96 overalls now, which is definitely cool as well. Considering we just got all 95s, and those are the best in the game, seeing 96s impre just improves that even much more, which is really exciting, actually. But we are going to get into it. We're going to check out the positions that we're working with. Now, before we do check them out, though, it's funny to see. If you guys don't know, the trend with the A is always the same thing. They give us players that we think are the best, and then they give us new players that we think actually might replace them, just slightly. And then you pay all these coins for them, and then a week later they drop the actual best players at that position. And I feel like these are trap players, but I'll go into that in just a second, and I'll go over what I mean. Before we get into the video, if you guys do need coins, pick up these new legends or some of the Zero Chill stuff, head on over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 30% off. The holiday discounts are in full effect. Take advantage, pick up some coins. But let's move on over to the first player. And of course, the first player is going to be Rich Gannon, quarterback for the Raiders. If you do remember, Rich Gannon did have a uh, one of the Team Diamond-esque players, and Rich Gannon was one of the more one of the quarterbacks people were really excited for at that time. Now he looks good. He kind of he fits the exact bill of everything people want right now. Kind of like that Steve McNair. He has 84 speed, 95 throw power, 94 throw short, 93 throw mid, 93 throw deep, 94 throw under pressure, 93 throw in the run, 94 play action. Now I did call him a trap. Not necessarily though. When you really look at him, he's gonna be he's pretty much everything you want a quarterback. Right? He's gonna have 99 throw power, pretty much all above 95 throwing stats. He's pretty much the perfect quarterback right now, and that's not to mention the fact that the guy that I think is coming next, which is Patrick Mahomes, which is coming next, may not even be better than that. Maybe exactly the same, if not slightly worse. Technically, Rich Gannon is not a trap. Technically, he's not, but we all know when you say Rich Gannon and Mahomes in the same sense, most Madden players at this day and age will probably want to play with Patrick Mahomes. But Mahomes will have about the same stats. Mahomes probably get like an 85 speed max. He'll probably end up having like an 86, 85 speed powered up. He'll end up with a 99 throw power as well. The medium, short, and deep, I think will be actually a little bit worse because they will have a... It'll be a lower card. I think as a ghost, he may only max at 95. A ghost present doesn't matter really regardless of what he gets. But he's going to be about the same card. They're not going to be too different. Maybe height-wise might be the only difference. Uh, field general for Rich Cannon. I'm not sure if they'll give strong arm to Mahomes or... Uh, I forget if he's a strong arm or a field general, so I'll definitely change it regardless. Uh, that we'll, we'll know if you just go look at the card. But the, either or, they're going to be very similar quarterbacks. That may just come down to archetype. Make him down some intangibles off the you know, back of the card stats. But either way, Rich Cannon's great. He's probably going to be the meta quarterback. Depending on it, it's going to come down to abilities. Either way, going to be great. You can't power him up, of course, because this is the LTD. If you get the 95, you can power him up. Either way, going to be a great quarterback. 96 overall is super high. The only thing that's probably going to top him as a quarterback, you're not going to get another quarterback that tops him for a while. And what I mean by that is you can get a quarterback with 95 stats, but they're not going to hit all 99s. The next quarterback that's really, well, you can get a quarterback with slightly better stats, I should say, but you're not going to really get a better quarterback to start getting 99 thresholds because, of course, that's the next step from where we're at right now. So, until we get, like, maybe a team of the year quarterback, team of the year Patrick Mahomes or something, which I don't think we'll get because that's too close to Christmas, but team of the year Russell Wilson, maybe. Uh, team of the year, maybe Justin Herbert. Like, that'd be cool. Unless you get a card that in the round team of the year that gets, like, 99 throw deep or throw short or one of those things, you probably won't notice a significant quarterback upgrade. From Rich Gannon here on out, he kind of has everything you want with the 99 throw power, as do a few other quarterbacks. Now, what we will be noticing pretty soon is going to be the over-dominant mobile quarterbacks coming pretty soon. Now, the thing is, all your people need a gunslinger, and you're not going to get that at these overalls on a mobile quarterback. But at 99 overall, when we start getting those, like, you know, those hybrid passing Vicks and Lamars, maybe RG3s, when we get those cards, that can get, like, 99 throw. When they get the 90 plus throwing accuracy, plus, like, the 95 speed, plus the 99 throw power, plus maybe gunslinger. That's when they'll probably make a return to this game. They'll probably be super dominant. Because if we're in a year where gunslinger and all that stuff is so important that you have to have a, a pocket passer. Imagine that but with a quarterback that can also take off at any time for a 90-yard run. It's going to be crazy. But let's get to the next guy who kind of reminds me of a Charles Woodson trap now. So everyone went out and got the Woodson. Now, the only good thing about cornerbacks, I don't believe you can be a trap with a cornerback. That's the beautiful thing about it is that when you have a cornerback, there's a 1, a 2, a 3, and a 4. 
and even more depending on the scheme you play, let's just say. Or you could toss in at safety if you really wanted to. The point is, there's one to three, the occasional four or more. Real quick as well, for everyone who did purchase any of the 50 packs today, if you guys didn't know, which I want to get this across because it'll, it kind of messed up doing this, they did a make right for the packs that had an issue, which I will explain in a second, but they did it without really telling people over on Twitter. And we all know that 90% of the people that play Madden I may not be on Twitter, although it seems like a big community on there. It's not even a it's a small percentage of who actually plays, whether or not they actually have a voice on Twitter or whatever. But they pretty much, if you did open the 50 packs, which guaranteed a 95, it said 95 plus uh, player in the topper. A lot of people open the bundle, whether or not they need to be a make right or not. And they are refunding everyone who did open packs. So if you opened up a 50 bundle right when the 50 dropped and you saw the 95 plus, you are eligible for a make right now. All you got to do is go to EA support starting tomorrow or today as of the time you're seeing this video. And start contacting them request a refund the only thing with it though is that again it's messed up how they did it because pretty much if you you have to wait people were waiting like five hours online for that and then they said they couldn't do it to the next day which is as you're watching this but even more so messed up is that only people on twitter seem to know about this and a few of the youtubers meanwhile all people that spend you know hundreds of thousands if not millions worth of packs already into that are uh sitting without knowing so hopefully you guys can go ahead and do that i don't know how long the lines are going to be it was like six hours some people today but take advantage of that and make sure you're getting that done Vincent does look super great regardless of where you put in the 1, 2, or 3. 94 speed now. At first when I saw the speed, I got excited. I thought I could get to 95, but I forgot. When I first saw it, I thought it was the un, uh, the non-limited time one, but it is. But either way, getting 94 speed, 95 excel, 92 agility, 90 jumping, 94 play rec, 92 man, 95 zone, 92 press. Beauty of this card, he'll get 99 zone. He'll get 95, uh, 99 play rec, 95 so, 99 zone. Have like a 97 press, 97 man coverage. He's going to be... Again, just like I said with Rich Cannon, he's going to be one of those guys that you're really not getting a better cornerback than him for the rest of the year unless you get better speed or you get max zone and max man, right? 99. That's really the only way. But Troy Vincent's going to be super great. Going to be in that same Rich Cannon territory. These are some good legends. Like, we're getting, like, the legends are be the best cards in the game now. We weren't really, like, we, we were kind of dealing with that weekly, but these are well beyond the typical skill range that we typically get in the legends. Like, this is, like, a big leap ahead. You get him in Woodson, and you're pretty much locked up to at least team of the year. And that's not to say that you really need to even upgrade them, right? Because you have a guy like Woodson or Troy Vincent with those 94 speeds. And you really don't have to go ahead and get new guys right away, right? Like, the only way would be better speed guys. Now, yeah, if you get a 97, you toss them down to the 2 or the 3. But you're getting you're getting your long guys here at this point. You're probably one or two more cornerback upgrades away from having, like, 97 speeds. So like, there's going to be some... These are going to be borderline. Not end game, of course. But if you do have Sprinter, right? That's the thing I don't typically mention. If you have Sprinter, you can get up to 96 speed here. You're again, you're very close to end game level cards that don't need to be replaced for a while. Of course, other people have Sprinter as well, and you have to take that into account. But Troy Vincent's great, Rich Gannon's great, one of the better legend drops of the year. I really do like these cards. Uh, I need some more coins, of course. I'll probably pick up Troy Vincent. I don't think I'm gonna pick up Gannon yet. I want to see the Mahomes. Of course, if I have the choice of the two, I want to play with Mahomes. So I got to see what his card's looking like, if it's gonna be better, worse. I think it'll be the same, if not slightly worse. I don't think it'll be better than Gannon just because these legends are 96 overalls. Unless they drop Mahomes as a master or an LT that is 96. In that case, it would be definitely different. But that is about it for this video. These are the two legends that are coming out. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy them as they do drop. They should be on the block right about now. So make sure you go pick them up. Uh, wait a little bit, though, of course, if this price does come down before you guys go ahead and overpay for them. They're going to be expensive, though. 96 overall is not going to be cheap. going to be at least 5 600 k for a decent amount of time. But again, if you need coins, send it over to my reserve. Use code Poodle for 30% off your order. Take advantage of the holiday discounts. And of course... It's about it for the day. I should have one more video, probably not sure what it's going to be on just yet, but I will get to that. And then, of course, one Sunday video. Pretty much wraps up the weekend. Uh, hopefully some surprise, you know, Christmas LTDs or something in there throughout that time. But otherwise, it should be pretty uh, smooth sailing until Monday for the next part of the Zero Chill and everything else that that's coming next week. Presents, you know, ghosts and everything else. And, of course, as, our chill, as we go daily, getting more solos, the chill factor keeps increasing. My chill factor is currently a 7. Uh, it could probably be a little bit higher if I had done the dailies, which I forgot to do. Let me know down below what uh, chill factors you guys are at. I'm trying to get mine to 10. I want the free players. Trying to build up the squad a little bit. But yeah, let me know what you guys are at so far. I believe, like I said, I could probably be around 10 or 11 or more. I didn't do the master sets for... Uh, I, I did it for Derek Henry, but I didn't do it for Charles Woodson or Deion Sanders just because I didn't really want it. I don't like the lower players you keep from the sets for uh, Charles Woodson, so I didn't go for that one. But the Derek Henry one I did do, as you guys saw, because that was obviously a beneficial one. That's what it. Let me know the chill factor down below. Pick up coins. Uh, turn that noti bell. Subscribe. I'm out. See you.